Manchester United's best performance for years got our first win of the season, but what made the difference? Let's go to the whiteboard. Against Brentford, the tactics of taking short goal kicks to De Gea got us into a lot of trouble in our defensive third. Against Liverpool, from the first goal kick, we set up to go to De Gea. Liverpool was set up to press, but De Gea took the long goal kick. This took the pressure off De Gea having to use his feet and took Liverpool's press out of the game. Going to screenshots of the game, this is the first goal kick of the game and we can see United are set up to take the short one and Liverpool's press is lined up to pounce, but De Gea went long, taking Liverpool's press out of the game. United's press was the most aggressive and coordinated it has been for some time. Rashford would press Gomez, Sancho would come off his wing to press Van Dijk, Fernandez was tying up Henderson and Delanga was picking up Alexander-Arnold. Although, if Alexander-Arnold pushed forward, Alanga held his position but ensured he shadow marked any ball into Alexander-Arnold. This put Liverpool under huge pressure and we were forcing them into turning the ball over to us. Going to screenshots of the game, we can see Rashford going after Gomez. Sancho has come off his wing to press Van Dijk. Alanga is shadow marking Alexander Arnold and Fernandez has tied up Henderson. We can see that Robertson is the out ball, but this pressure made that pass a difficult one. When United dropped off the pace, they produced an aggressive mid press. Because Sancho was about two yards too much in field, it gave Robertson a good sight of Diaz. But every time Robertson played the ball into Diaz, Dallow was there with an aggressive mid-press and Liverpool were forced into playing backwards and sideways. Going to screenshots of the game, we can see Sancho is slightly in field too much, giving Robertson this easy ball down the line to Diaz. But Dallow is there and forces Diaz to go backwards. In the same phase of play, Firmino has dropped deep to get on the ball and plays it back into Diaz and Dallow is there again forcing him to play sideways. But this is incredible. Two of Liverpool's front three are in United's half and it's allowed Varane to step up the pitch, making it almost impossible for Liverpool to play through us. When Elliot plays in Liverpool's midfield, he is very good at finding space in the half space on the outside of the opposition's midfield. From here, Salah and Elliot are able to outnumber the fullback. To combat this, Ericsson played very wide for a central midfield player to pick up Elliot and prevent Salah and Elliot outnumbering Malassia. Going to screenshots of the game, this is one example in the first half of Ericsson tracking Elliot into this wide to half space area to prevent Malassia getting outnumbered. And another example in the second half. This is clearly something Ten Hag identified and drilled the team well to nullify it. The devil's verdict is, Ten Hag managed to recreate a performance from the good old days. The intensity of this match was on par with the Arsenal 2-0 when we ended their 49 game unbeaten run and the Chelsea 1-0 when we ended their 40 game unbeaten run. So, is this the start of a new era? We'll find out, 12.30 Saturday afternoon. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.